My name is Pat Thrash, and I recently joined the board of Widowhood, Real Talk with Tina. I met Tina a few years ago, and I had heard the story of the uh, sudden death of her first husband and her finding uh, love again in her relationship with her new husband, Fred. Uh, but it's only this year that I learned about her passion to share with others what she had learned through the navigation of her grief process. Uh, when I went to her website, I was blown away with the depth and breadth of information, and I found the stories uh, from the interviews of others who had suffered loss and learned to thrive again to be inspirational. I was impressed with Tina's passion and uh, all that she had accomplished since st starting uh, Widowhood Real Talk with Tina in 2022. After some phone conversations and a meeting over lunch, I knew that I wanted to support the organization and felt that my experience in nonprofit organizational governance was where I off could offer the most uh, support and help for Widowhood Real Talk with Tina to grow and mature. So I uh, offered to become a trustee. As a psychiatrist, I've worked with many people who came to me struggling with a loss and with others who suffered a loss of a loved one in the midst of ongoing psychiatric treatment. I recognize the value of Widowhood Real Talk with Tina as a resource for my patients and for anyone struggling with grief. Um, you know, grief is universal. Uh, and it's a normal experience, but each person is a unique individual who's had a unique life and a unique experience to live with the person that they've lost. So each person lives their grief in their own way. Some people seem to be at peace with their grief so quickly that we wonder what's wrong with them that they're not suffering. And others struggle for years to get past their grief, and we wonder what's wrong with them that they can't get over it. Sometimes grief merges into an illness called major depression, uh, which can benefit from uh, psychotherapy or me and or medication management, but psychotherapy tends to look at the past to try to explain current suffering, uh, but it doesn't surround the patient with a supportive community of human beings who are in all phases of the grief process. Uh, the beauty of Widowhood Real Talk with Tina is that it offers a community of empathic support at whatever level the griever needs and can accept as they move through their own process. Seeing the process of others uh, as they proceed through grief um, gives, can provide hope to a griever who can't imagine ever recovering. Um, the many videos on the websites on all kinds of emotional, social, and financial issues help normalize all the overwhelming concerns that grievers have, but often keep to themselves in their silent suffering. Widowhood Real Talk with Tina offers information, community, hope, support, and guidance towards taking action to re-enter a life of meaning happiness and a sense of security. That's why I recommend and support Real Talk with Tina. Thank you.